What's up guys, Chrome XMod here today. Just doing a quick video to show you what an XDK sidecar is and what they do. The sidecar is that thing sitting on top, as a lot of you have asked about them. Um, as you can see, the fat sidecars are different, so it really depends. And you hook it up to the computer using a USB printer cable. So what the sidecar does is, when you build an Xbox 360 project uh, in Visual Studio, it gives you this here, an Xbox 360 game disk layout file. Now what this layout file does is it allows you to emulate a DVD drive to actually make it think that there's a disk in there. Um, I'll explain more in a minute. I'm not going to use this as this is just a sample one. I'm going to use the one here which I have which is the Gears of War 3 beta one. So you just open, you double click on it and then it brings you to the editor. You can also edit your directories and rules and whatnot if you really want to but I don't know anything about that. So it'll validate the files. Now you've got a timing mode, you've got accurate, typical and no timing. Now accurate means it'll be the same loading times and it'll act pretty much as a disk. Typical, a little bit faster and no timing means it'll act like it's just files. Now what you want to do is just click emulate on here and when I do that you watch it'll emulate the DVD drive, closing, reading, play game. And then you can see all the data and whatnot passing through on here. Now, the benefit to this is when developers are testing, they don't have to burn disks to play the games, and they don't have to constantly move files over. They can just launch them from that. Now, as you'll see here, this should launch into Gears War 3 Beta, no problem. Yep, see, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm out. Peace.